What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more Blue Lock. Super excited to be starting season two, episode one. For those of you who don't know, with the first and last episode of every season of every show we do on the channel, the full length version, which is normally only on Patreon, is available for free for everyone. So click the link in the top of the description. Enjoy that free full length. Consider keeping that Patreon if you guys want that for the rest of the shows, the movies, everything else. Um, I'm not going to waste any more time. Blue Lock, season two, episode one. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Are we watching the Nagi movie? Why does the animation look so good with the black bars and everything? Is this Ren and is it Say, right? One shot match. Weird seeing Ren like this after he's so calm, cool, and collected in the future, you know? I love the color grading, how it's like sunsetty, purpley, orange, yellow. Already starting off very blue locky. Now he's been away for four years doing his international footballing. That can be a soul crushing thing for a brother you look up to to say, you know? Interesting. Interesting. Now, if I forget any of the names, I do have a lot of them from my notes from the previous season. But just bear with me for a little bit, guys, while I remember. That's a good point. With 35 strikers, how is this going to work? Okay, we're going to learn the six starters. The only ones I know are Rin and Nagi. Yep, understandable. Understandable. Number one. Obviously, come on. I hope the guy with the yellow, blonde, and pink hair is in there, too. Okay, funny. I'm. The fact that he's number two is crazy. I'm gonna recognize his voice actor, too, now, you know? Obvious. Someone else I haven't heard of? Interesting. His hair just makes him look fast. Someone else I haven't heard of? Is there no Naki in the top five? Wow. Tell me why I don't think it's going to be Isagi. I respect that. I'm very excited to see these guys, but... That's obviously what I would assume. Nagi's one of the most talented individuals you've seen. I'm not surprised in the slightest that Isagi didn't make it. That's a very realistic and humbling moment. I'm super excited. Wow. Wow. So this is going to be a free-for-all in terms of decisions. You know we're going with Rin. So show off your talents right now. I love. First off, I love how Iron Manny the whole technology. Th it's not real, obviously, but I just love so many animation aspects of this so far. How their names are popping up, little name tags, you know. Isagi Yoichi, Machira makes so much sense as well. I love how humbled we're getting. Aisa. Yeah, we're missing quite a few heads. Naruhaya, Kunigami, aka Ichigo, now that I'm actually watching Bleach. Kuon, oh, yep. Imamura, Iemon, I loved him. We're missing a lot. Yeah, I'm one of my favorites, man. Really? That's true. Theoretically, of even us six, whatever, sitting right here, only one of us is going to make it. <laughs> I'm curious. You know he wants to go with the best. Oh, yep. His chemical reaction with Na Nagi is easily one of his best teammate players for sure. Also, very good point. You might unlock something you never even knew was there with him. Great points. 
I would personally lean more A because you can't rely on a chemical reaction with a teammate, especially as going into this individually, you know? Nah, he's just me playing games, man. I'm the same way. I'm going to get all these names down during editing, too, because there's a lot of new names. This guy's face is so creepy, but so cool to me. Is that Gojo's voice actor? Both of them are so hostile towards each other. The cream of the blue crop. Experimental super attacking style. Under no circumstances. Which we know is going to happen. Love that. Ooh. It's weird seeing Baro without his hair up. Anywhere but Team C. It's a good point. Airpoint as well. It's weird now. I hear Grimjow so much when I hear him talk, man. Oh my god. I love it. I love their rivalry. Loki Isagi has like 15 rivalries, but I love each one. The constant donkey calling each other. Nico, too. We ain't seen him in a grip. It's a fair pick, honestly. Fair, fair. I get it. Understandable. I like it. One, because you can be assertive, but also you can coexist. So I get that. <laughs> Crazy Rio's here. The old Nagi man. That's understandable. I get that. There are some people just latently more talented by a mile, you know? This is a really rough situation for my man Rayo. He's like, thanks. You helped me uh, shift my perspective a little bit. Might not initially make the right decision, but you can make it the right decision. I like it. All right, episode one, very setup heavy for the season in a great way. From here on out, it's going to be nothing but bangers. All right. Wow, he did not go with Nagi. Okay. Interesting. Sante Gagamaru, yep. Rayo did choose Nagi. Oh, this, oh, we're a lot of split up as well. I'm super excited. Yeah, this is still technically to get into the main event of the season. The whole season's called Blue Log vs. U20. Ooh, it's going to be crazy. This was the guy on the phone with uh, Ego earlier. So there's, so these guys have a certain bias and they don't even necessarily want Japan to be the best at soccer. They just want to keep their position, popularity, money. This is going to be say, no, who the hell is this guy? Achi Sagi? This guy is a mix of the fusion. What the fuck? okay all right like i said that was a setup episode to get us ready for this season but by golly did they even pace that one fast we had one episode we're getting ready 
we're gonna have nothing but matches to determine the best possible team for this crazy match that i'm so excited for but the way this season is titled it essentially is just telling us that this whole season it's kind of like season three of haikyuu how it's focused on just them versus territory zawa is that the name why am i why am i blanking you know what i'm trying to talk about it's literally this whole season is going to be focused on that singular match and i am so excited because season three of haikyuu is my favorite so i love the whole focus on these characters their new interactions their old interactions how they're going to change oh i am excited we got a lot of cool new faces a lot of still amazing like there's so many cool ass characters in this you know i'm excited i'm excited as hell hopefully you guys are as well if you are please leave a like on this video let me know your thoughts down below don't forget to leave a like check out that patreon i'm gonna drink some water tell someone you love them you do a great day today have a great day dapper squad peace out